I don't know who needs to hear this today, but who you walk with matters. The Word of God tells us in Psalm 1 how blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Uh, here in Psalm 1, the Word of God tells us who not to walk with. Uh, like that second grade science experiment where you take stalks of celery and put them in glasses with water and you have add, added different color food coloring to that water. And over time, it's a lesson about osmosis, but over time, uh, those stalks begin to turn the same color as the water that they are in. So it is with our lives. The types of people that we walk with are going to have an impact, for good or bad, in our lives. Today's hymn was published during a period of time in America's religious history when there was a great emphasis on the social implications of the gospel. Uh, I believe we're living in a similar time today. Uh, but the time specifically was after the Civil War. Uh, this song was written just a decade and a half after the Civil War. Uh, it was during the Industrial Revolution, and there were those who were exploiting the situation. Uh, the carpetbaggers, for example, following the, uh, the Civil War, and then during the Industrial Revolution, monopolies began to crop up, uh, and uh, workers were being exploited uh, so that the wealthy could be wealthier. The author of today's hymn is named Washington Gladden. He was born in 1836. He was a graduate of Williams College and was an ordained minister in the congregational churches. Gladden spoke out against political as well as corporate corruption. He believed that Christians and the church had a moral duty, a moral responsibility to, and I'm quoting, elevate the masses, not only spiritually and morally, but be concerned about their social and economic welfare as well. As a result of his positions, he received very harsh criticism uh, by not only uh, political leaders, but uh, particularly corporate leaders. In fact, there even reached a point when his own congregation turned against him because he opposed a donation to his church, by J.D. Rockefeller. It was a $100,000 donation. In today's money, it would be around $2.2 million. But he opposed that donation because he referred to it, and I'm quoting again, as tainted money. There are actually two verses in the hymn inspiration for today that are no longer published. Allow me to read an excerpt from one of those verses. Gladden writes, Help me to bear the sting of spite, the hate of men who hide thy light. This very clearly is a reference to the criticism that he received because of his positions against political and corporate corruption uh, and the social and economic welfare of the lower classes. But what is this hymn? What is this hymn written by a minister who came under fire for his belief that the gospel is a gospel of compassion? and a gospel that advocates for the marginalized. Take a listen, and I'll be back. Oh, man. 
I quoted from Psalm 1 in which the Word of God tells us who we ought not to walk with. Allow me now to quote from Micah who said, He has told you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but that you act justly, that you love mercy, and that you walk humbly with your God. Washington Gladden lived out those words all the days of his life despite the venom that was spewed from every direction towards him. Who we walk with matters. So how's your walk with the Master? I've got nothing but big love for you. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day.